I think the youth voice matters more than ever now because we're seeing that like young people my age and above are starting to become more active in politics. The more voters we have, the like bigger step we can take and also voting on each level. Our president can't make all these decisions and a lot of the things people I see people posting about like, oh, defund the police, like those are local elections that you have to vote in. Those are city officials. So like pushing the presidential election because there's so much excitement and so much media coverage about it, but also using that energy to make sure people continue to vote. In the 2018 midterm election, we had like the highest amount of youth voters that there's been in like decades. Things are changing and I feel like our future it's going to depend on whether we like act now or not. Vote That John is an initiative to use the power of youth voice to talk to other youth about voting. Their advocacy after voting, as well as their connection with each other around their democratic engagement. My parents are actually immigrants. They came to the US back in the early 90s and they instilled in me from a really young age how important participation in democracy is and it's not something to be taken for granted. So right now, political tension in this country just seems so high, but a lot of people are kind of giving up on the system. Um, so really just out here trying to empower people to stay involved, keep up the fight, uh, get registered and make their voices heard in November. At my school, we recently released 10 demands to talk about the anti-racism behavior that's been happening at Central. And I thought like another form to really cause change is through voting. Like you're not gonna get any change unless you, unless you put people in office that can enforce these changes and that actually care about you. And I feel like a good way to do that is by voting. I want to vote people into office who are gonna enforce laws that represent and are for my people and people that look like me. The more you think everything is fine, the least you need to engage. Also, the more you think nothing's fine, the more you think I can engage. Both those things endanger democracy because we need young people saying, oh, hey, I'm in it. I'm super proud of the collaborations that have happened on the ground in Philadelphia. So between Vote That John, uh, Philly Youth Vote, and CMAC, uh, we have been able to do something really special. Um, and I think that we're gonna get a lot of young people engaged civically um, where before they may have shied away from it. When COVID came, uh, quarantine happened. And so we had to quickly evolve into a digital space. We would uh, come up with ideas for uh, social media and or just creative like spaces like writing or podcasts and uh, we would do Instagram lives all this stuff surrounded around voting and voter education. Social media during COVID-19 for Vote That John I know we've done we made a TikTok again I've been making so many videos like trying to keep up with the trend so trying to match like the youthful trends and stuff that are going on but kind of mix it with voting. Hey first time voters, COVID shouldn't stop you from voting. Here's how to register to vote online. It's, it's super, super easy. easy. All you need is an internet connection, Pennsylvania State ID or driver's license. And five minutes of your time. Go to pavoterservices.pa.gov. On any of your mobile devices. After you fill out the form, you press submit. Hey guys, let's talk mail-in ballots. They can be a little tricky, but we've got you covered. Click the mail-in ballot form, fill it out and press submit. You can track your ballot status on the same site. The due date is October 27th at 5 p.m. to have it into your county election office. But going to the polls is still an option for this year's election. And click the link that says find your polling place. You have to put in your city, your county, and your address, and it'll tell you where you're supposed to go. Election day is on November 3rd. The polls open at 7 a.m. and close at 8 p.m. If this is your first time voting, you need to bring an ID. And it doesn't just have to be a PA state ID or a PA driver's license. And don't forget to vote, vote that, that John. John. You have to start applying to be a poll worker. It's really important for our democracy. Plus, you get $250. We're calling on the millennials to stand up for democracy. The average poll worker is 60 years old. And on the primary, we received unprecedented call-outs, 
unprecedented concern of COVID-19. And the younger people were saying, hey, you didn't call on us. Poll workers, you are referees. You will be trained on what's right and what's wrong. So we need you in there to keep an eye out, to make sure that this is a plain, fair field, that no one is intimidated when they walk into the election booth, that no one's name is missing. We are asking for young people to step up because this is your time right now. 2020 has called upon us. If we don't do it, nobody else will. So they look at me and they say, Isaiah, they say, Zeke, they don't call me councilman. Why should I vote? What's going to change? And what we're here today to say, listen, number one, we need you to vote. We need you to vote. Number two, things will change. Things will change. Change is us standing right here together right now. Look at the people that you have that's representing the city of Philadelphia. Look at the fact that you have a commissioner and you have elected officials that are holding seats and have done things that we've never seen in the history of our city. We've never seen in the history of the place of democracy. The word elect has many definitions. As a verb, it means to choose someone. As a noun, it simply means the chosen. So voting can either be an action or a being. So who are you waiting for? Don't simply cast a ballot, cast a seed, and water it. My community needs more than my voice, it needs my hands. The community garden doesn't plow itself. Mills for the homeless don't distribute themselves. Do not social distance to the point of internet apathy. Do not simply cast a ballot, cast a seed, and water it. The revolution will not be televised because it will not be performative, it will be performed. You must remember that you do not vote just for you but for the mothers supporting their family without even a living wage. You do not vote just for you, but for the elderly families priced out of their homes and forced out of neighborhoods they built from the ground up. You do not vote for you, but for the undocumented immigrants whose family trees have taken root in this soil, nourishing an economy with generations of workers and taxpayers, yet still they have no voice recognized by this government. And you do not vote simply because you can. You vote for everyone who can't. You are part of who gets placed at the top of this political race. Who gets to be in the White House built on slavery? Who gets to build back our economy? Our voices can be heard to the highs of Washington's monuments, to the lows of our history. We've protested for the right to vote. We hold the power to put people in power. We are demanding equal rights, fighting for our lives, losing loved ones, being shot down. But we still have a shot. And this choice is our voice. Vote at john.com, vote is power, go and get it.